In our previous episode we were exploring Ram Fortress. Today we will visit our next destination, Golubat's Fortress. Fortress is built along the Danube flow through Serbia, witnessed the most interesting historical events in that beautiful country and Balkan region from antiquity to the modern history. Some of them are preserved in their entirety, and today are the strongest advantages of tourism. Some remained only on that track on this river, and about some of the Danube fortresses we still do not know much. What is certain, is that they have played an important defensive role at the crossroads of Europe, changed the invaders, have been destroyed and rebuilt and today are examples of impressive architecture and incredible stories. This short serial will tell you a story of eight forts that guarded the Danube in Serbia. Golubac's fortress is an imposing medieval fortress on the Danube near Veliko Gradište. Position at the entrance to the Iron Gate makes it an extremely attractive. Golubac's fortress is one of the most impressive buildings situated on the Danube, which is classified as a cultural and historical monument of great importance. For this beautiful fortress are related various myths and legends, not knowing exactly who built it or when. In progress is the great restoration of Golubac's fortress, so its appearance deserves careful attention. It is located on steep cliffs 4 kilometers from Gorlubac's town and beautiful Iron Gate and they together make a fascinating tourist complex created by nature and history together. Fortress consists, front, rear and upper town. Its main specificity are nine massive towers that are up to 25 meters high, and are designed so that the interior of the tower testifies about the places that are reserved for guns and other ammunition of that time. No one knows exactly who and when they began to build the fortress on Danube, but it was first mentioned in writings dating from the 13th century as a Hungarian facility. It is therefore characterized as a medieval fortress building. Golubac's fortress has a turbulent history, since there were many battlefields and often envied it and losing the powerful force that led to the wars in this region. Prince Lazar was trying to conquer this building mostly without success, 
but in the early 15th century, however it came in the Serbian property. After the death of despot Stefan, the Turks advanced in their conquest in the territory of Hungary, and won the Golubac's fortress and kept it in their possession until the early 19th century. There is an interesting legend that explains the name of this fortress on the Danube. According to the folk tale, in the city lived a beautiful girl called Golubana. About her beauty was widely heard, so Turkish Pasha wanted her for himself. However, beautiful Golubana did not accept his courtship gestures and persistently refused him. Pasha ordered the Golubana to be fine, so the girl to be tied to a rock above the Danube. Birds mutilated her body, and she died. The memory of her and her beauty and the sad fate of the rest of the people, and the place where she lived, received its name Golubats. There is another legend that says that in the imposing building lived a princess Helena who breed pigeons to alleviate the sadness and loneliness. In 2014 began the reconstruction of this amazing building, and finally is open to visitors in 2019. In the next episode of this serial, we will explore Fetislam Fortress, 